Hello and welcome to the walkthrough of the IoT Golf Shoes demo. Let's begin by opening the application. Now this story has three parts to it. A customer view, a back office view, and an in-store view. Each view has a different aspect of the story. We begin our story with the back office view. And if we click on the back office view, it takes us to the main Fiori screen. This screen is our main dashboard to show us all the information we need to know on the back end. We'll begin by clicking at the bottom left corner on wearable segment devices and we will click through the screens in North Texas and we're going to be looking at golf insoles and we're going to get a location view so we can see graphically what's going on. We can see very clearly that the most activity from the streaming devices from wearable golf items is in the large green circle at the middle of the screen. Here we'll click on this and this is where we start looking at the streaming data coming in directly from the IoT devices. We want to click on the top right corner at the search button, the magnifying glass, and connect to our sensor tag. When we connect to our tag, we can then begin the uh, motion of swinging back and forth the tag and you can see how it counts up the numbers until it reaches to 3010. At this point we've triggered some activity in the back end. Some parameters were met and the system generates an email to the customer. And you can put this, send this email to any customer who happens to be in the room at the time as long as you have connectivity through Wi-Fi, LTE, or 3G. And they will receive that email in the course of the demo and it's instructive to, at some point to come back and ask them if they've actually received it. When you send the demo, send the email, after you click, collect send. Now what happened in the back end to cause that to happen? We click on the list of uh, devices that are streaming and we see that Mia Golfer is there at the top and she's been added to a segment and uh, added to the campaign associated with that particular segment. So let's go look and see what our, uh, happened. If we go to our wearable device segment management in the top left corner, we see that there are target groups already set up for these wearable devices, amongst them the golf insoles. And if we click on the golf insoles, we see that the target group comprises a whole lot of people, including Mia at the top of the list here, who's just been added today. So let's click on her, and we see that she's been added to the golf insoles segment today, as well, well as to the wear, wearable devices target campaign. And let's go look at that campaign. Within that campaign, we see the various financials associated with that campaign in real time. We can also see information about who the members of that group are. We see Mia again at the top of that list. But more importantly, the automation. Every campaign has tactics associated. And this campaign has a tactic of sending an email when that person has been placed into that segment. In this case, by the, sh the golf shoes identifying themselves as worn out. The next part of the story is Mia, the, co the golfer's view. Mia's been out golfing for the day. She notices that in her email, she has an email that has come in from the golf shop indicating that her shoes have worn out and it's time to replace them. This is the email that she received from the back end. Mia decides that she's going to go out and shop at the web shop. She goes to the web shop and clicks on our most popular selling products. Immediately though, we recognize her as Mia and we can see her profile in the, the left-hand side of the screen and her preferred brands along in the uh, middle of the screen listed. She clicks on one and begins to shop for her shoes. A customer service representative comes on, this, comes on and asks her a few questions. Mia says she has received this offer through her email and she'd like to buy the new shoes and the new insoles. Uh, and she'd like to take advantage of the special in-store discount of 20% off that we will give her if she comes in and uh, redeems this in the store. But she's not really sure if she wants to get those unless they're available at the same time. So the customer service representative recommends a particular shoe and goes into the back end to find out if, if, in, if it is possible for the insoles to be outsourced from the third-party network and delivered to the store at the same time. 
The customer service rep goes out into the network and confirms this information and says, yes, indeed, they can be available for her when she comes to pick them up in the store. So Mia's job at this point is to then schedule an appointment, finish her purchase, and then go to the store to pick up the items. So she decides that this is a good deal for her and decides to add the shoes to her cart. And when she adds the shoes to her cart, she sees the special offer for the 20% off if she takes advantage of the in-store pickup. She decides this is a good deal for her because it's more money off of the particular shoes. She selects a date that works for her in the future and a specific, specific time for an appointment for her to come into the store. She likes to go in the mornings, so she sets her appointment for 10.30 in the morning. And now Mia is all set. She confirms her appointment, she's getting her 20% off discount, and she's ready to go. At this point, a few days later, Mia then goes to the store to pick up her shoes. And now we take the point of view of the in-store rep. The in-store rep on his clienteling application as he joins the, uh, the, uh, the operation for the day, logs in and sees he has various things to do today. Among them is a series of appointments that he has. Clicking his appointments, he sees that his first appointment is at 10.30 with Mia, coming in to pick up her particular shoes and insoles. He knows he has to go pick them from the back room in, to be ready for her appointment. And when she arrives, he uh, scans the, ver the, the, the new items into the system and verifies them so that he knows that the new insoles have been re-registered back into the system so that we can continue to measure the wear on her shoes going forward. And let's verify that. Just to close the loop on the back end, we'll go back into the back office view. And this time, we will go into the bottom where it says new devices registered. Again, we're in North Texas because that's where Mia is. And since we're already looking at insoles, let's just look at the new registrations. Immediately, we see a set of new registrations that just showed up today, including Mia's at the top of the list. And this completes the entire story of automating a segment of one with IoT. Thank you.